brings you to talk to Aaron, who is at Webster High School this morning. Aaron, what you got going on out there? Well, you know, this is a great opportunity for these kids out at Webster High School. They've been reading Chains by Lori Holtz Anderson. This is Mrs. Morrison's ninth grade English one class. Great opportunity for them because the New York Times bestselling author, Lori Holtz Anderson, is here today. She's actually in town uh, to be presented the Anne V. Zero Award and also present uh, awards to some students. But she's here because the teacher won an opportunity for the students to speak to her and ask questions about writing and the writing process and questions about chains. So coming up, we're going to talk with the author as well as three students who are getting this great opportunity. That's coming up in right. about two minutes. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Rain. Yeah, the one of the neat things about that, I think the authors look forward to that and enjoy it as much or more sometimes than the students do. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What all right, welcome back, everybody. This year, the NV Zero Award is being given to Laura Holtz Anderson, best-selling author of a lot of popular books for young people. And as with many good authors, her novels have brought youngsters into the world of reading. And Erin is with her this morning at Webster High School. Good Friday morning, Erin. That's right, absolutely. And like I've been saying, great opportunity for these kids out here at Webster High School. And we have Laurie Holtz Anderson here with us before she gets started with her talk with the students. You were telling me just a few minutes ago that this is a really exciting time for young adult authors. Oh, uh, and, and young adult readers. We have a robust body of literature that's being developed for all American kids that shows them the life in the past, the life of today, and some great dystopian futuristic fiction. And how do you think the writing has kind of changed over the decades that's kind of helped young readers stay engaged? Well, you know, the books that, for example, I grew up with when I was in high school were books that were written for adults, uh, often 150 years ago. And today we realize that the adolescent mind needs something that they can connect to. So we're trying to write books that will take care of that problem. I mean, I remember even talking to the author of Captain Underpants, yeah. as young as that age, <laughs> yeah. because, you know, just the pictures, anything to keep kids' minds reading. Our job as a society has to be to raise up a generation of literate American kids. And we do that by giving them great stories. Now, how do you tap into the mind of a high schooler? Do you visit with them, talk to them? I stopped maturing when I was 15 years old, <laughs> so it's not that hard. <laughs> I like that answer. So what are you hoping that these uh, young readers and writers will learn today? Um, I want them to understand how... America was founded and how the founding of America, which is ugly and brutal in ways that we don't often discuss, is directly connected to our social injustices of today. And tell me a little bit about this book that they've been reading. This is Chains. This is the story of Isabel, an enslaved girl in the North in New York City in 1776. It's an adventure novel, but it also looks at uh, the hypocrisies between uh, that war for freedom that we fought that wasn't fought for all Americans. Um, and that's a a dichotomy that we're still struggling with. Yeah. All right. We have a few students here who uh, just read the book. They're excited to learn more. Tell us a little bit about what you liked about the book. I liked how she was determined to find her younger sister after they gave her away to someone else. And, and Lori even mentioned the adventure side. Kind of what was that that you liked about it? I like the fact that well, that she was like determined to like find her and everything. Yeah. And you, you mentioned detail. What do you mean about you liked the detail of the book? The way she described it, like, um, yeah. Kind of kept you engaged in the book a little bit. Yeah. All right. So this evening, uh, Lori's actually here. You're going to be presenting the Ann V. Zero Award. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm uh, getting a, a little bit of an honor myself. Um, I'm just thrilled to be here in Tulsa, a city with amazing libraries. They really do, don't oh they? The new Central Library downtown. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Thank you so much. Also, she's getting the opportunity to present some awards for some creative young writers that we have here in Tulsa. So we better let them get started. I'm sure they have plenty of questions for uh, our author here today. And we're going to send it back to you guys. All right, thank you. How cool is that? That is so yeah. cool. All right, the Lori Holtz Anderson and V Zero Award presentations tonight, seven o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me, Connors Cove, Hardesty Regional Library. That's eighty-three sixteen East ninety-third, TulsaLibrary.org. You can.